交通機関への影響です。A powerful earthquake hit northwest Japan. The very picture of destruction. Two massive earthquakes strike Japan in mid-July, reducing homes to rubble. The quakes knock a passenger train off the tracks. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the derailment. These earthquakes may have happened over there. There are many wrecked vehicles, overturned vehicles, people standing around dazed and confused. But they're a jolting reminder that the same thing can and does happen here. These are scenes from the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake that collapsed a portion of the Bay Bridge and killed 62 people. While Bart came out unscathed in that earthquake, Bart may not be so lucky in the next one. We know that we are all facing earthquakes in our immediate future. We live in an earthquake zone, and certainly Bart either parallels or touches all the major earthquake faults in the region. That's why Bart's earthquake safety program is in a race against time to strengthen the system before the next big one hits. The program will strengthen the columns that hold up Bart's elevated tracks and stations to withstand the maximum credible earthquake. But Bart's top priority is to strengthen the underwater Transbay tube, which Bart built in the late 60s to sit on the bay floor and connect the downtowns of Oakland and San Francisco. Today, the tube carries nearly half of Bart's 350,000 daily riders. Making sure that our tube and our aerial structures are ready for those next earthquakes, which we know are coming, is in fact the very top priority for this agency. Bart recently floated this barge over the tube. On it, piles of stone and even this green machine called a vibro compactor. So here's how this works. This is the vibro compaction machine, and say my arm is the Transbay tube. Well, basically, it's going to go down into the mud and compact the soil around the Transbay tube. Then it's going to create a hole. Let me take you over this way. That hole is going to be replaced by this stone over here. The stone will go into the hole. The machine will go back into the stone, compact it a little bit more. Then come up and put more stone in, compact it a little bit more, and create a stone column. It's going to do that the entire length of the Transbay tube, which is 3.6 miles. On land, it's easier to see the vibro compactor in action, where Bart was doing the same type of strengthening work on the portion of the tube that's not underwater. Despite this incredibly complex work, riders won't notice any change in service. You'll be able to ride through the tube. You'll be able to go wherever you go normally, as we are doing the retrofit program. Bart hopes to have the entire system strengthened in 10 years. We've been able to get this program rolling forward and as, as rapid fire as possible will be underway in getting those retrofits done. So we're going to be ready for those earthquakes. Linton Johnson, Bart TV News.